Nomad life is a constant adventure on many levels. So much to learn about living on the road, about the great outdoors, and about yourself. There are as many ways to do it all as there are people. Research as much as you can, sure, but at the end of the day, it's your rig and your routines have to work for you. Thanks for joining me for my next Nomad Your Own Nomad video. One of the ways I nomad my own nomad is to utilize the amazing savings of the Washington State Discover Pass. For $30 a year, you get free access to over 70 campgrounds and sites. They have a downloadable PDF version of this map that shows their locations, as well as hiking opportunities across the state. I chose to purchase the map, which you can do at dnr.wa.gov go. My first Discover Pass experience was at Dugan Creek Campground, part of the Occult Burn State Forest. I arrived around 4.30 and there was only one other campsite in use, so I had plenty of privacy and was lucky that my site was right next to the water. This is a well-maintained campground and the sites are reasonably sized. I'm in an SUV and they take RVs up to 16 feet. There's always micro trash and I don't mind leaving sites better than I found them. It's sort of a meditation for me. The temps got down to the upper 30s, so I indulged in campfires both nights. I'm a bit of a pyromaniac and enjoy the satisfaction of a well-built fire. Here's another view of the creek and the bridge you'll cross to get to the campground. That's the camp host's RV. And there's a view of my stormtrooper tent from the other shore of the creek. I do as little outright cooking as possible. And instead of toting along a butane stove and fuel, this time I tried out a very compact stainless backpacking stove that suits my purposes of boiling water with sticks and twigs in just a few minutes. I'm happy with this purchase, and there's a link in the description. One of the ways I nomad is getting reacquainted with the ukulele. It obviously doesn't take up much space, and it makes me happy to play. A nearby opportunity for some hiking is the Cape Horn Trail that starts and ends at the Salmon Falls Park and Ride. The signage is great and there's restrooms in the parking lot. From February 1st to July 15th, there's a middle section of the trail that's closed to humans for falcon nesting season. I walked the lower trail and I'll come back for the upper on another day. There's a bridge near where both ends of the trail meet and the signage to let you know where to get back to the parking lot. As of today, this is what I know. I'm not interested in dedicating the space or the energy to refrigeration or a cooking burner. I am interested in using freeze-dried vegetables and planning meals around a length of stay that include food items that we've been taught need long-term refrigeration, but really don't. Boondocking is my preference, and I am able to benefit from some paid accommodations from time to time. It's my hope that what I share helps you get out there and nomad your own nomad. Try something and see how it goes. You can always make changes. See you next time.